Good morning, class. Good morning. So yesterday we went over fractions, so today we're going to go over fractions using the measuring cup. Okay. Remember? So, do we remember what this fraction is? Twenty-four. Which also equals a quarter. Now, yeah. how many quarters are in one cup? Four. Four. Good job. So, do we know what this is? A measuring cup. Yeah. My mom has one of those. She does? Do you know what she uses it for? Um, to cook. To cook. So by the end of this class, we're going to be able to use this measuring cup and identify all the fractions and lines so tomorrow we can bake cookies. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. Uh, so do you want to look at the measuring cup? No, don't break it because it's glass. Yes, there's two cups in the measuring cup. Thank you. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Okay. Okay, class, are we ready to practice using the measuring cup? Yeah. Okay, so we have a pretend recipe on the board, and we're going to use the measuring cup to make it. But instead of all the other ingredients, we're just going to use oats today, okay? Okay. Okay, so can someone read me what this says? One cup sugar. So where in the measuring cup would you find one cup? Right there. All right. So we're going to pour until we get the whole one cup. And we got to shake it around to make sure it's even. So I'm not quite there yet. Does that look good to you? Tap it down, make sure it's even. Does that look like one cup? Looks good to me. Mm -hmm. All right. So we pour it into our bowl. What's the next line say, Amanda? One half. Of water. And since we're not using water today, we're just going to use the oats. So we're going to do half a cup. Can you show me where we'd find half a cup on there? Right there. All right. You're right. So it would be right there on our measuring cup. Mm -hmm. Does that look good, Amanda? Mm -hmm. All right. So we did half a cup. Okay. Taylor, what does the next line say? Quarter cup flour. All right. Can you show me where a quarter cup would be? Yeah, right there. Does that look good? Looks good. Okay. And Amanda, what does the last line say? One and one half cup of oats. So how are we going to do this one, Amanda? We can do one cup and then one half, or if you read, you can find one there's, and one half. There's one and one half. Yep, right there. So which one would you like to do? One and one half. Okay, so we'll pour it all the way up there. You tell me when to stop. Okay. All right. Does that look like one and one half? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect, and we'll pour that in. All right. Do you guys think you're going to be able to make cookies tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds great. Okay, so now we're going to review what was on the cup with the different measuring measures. So Taylor, can you come up and show me where three fourths of a cup is and put a line? Right here. Good job. Come up and show me where one fourth of a cup is. It's right here. All right, good job. All right, so Taylor, can you come up and show me where half a cup is? Yes. Right here. Good job. So now we're going to add more to it. So Katie, can you come up and show me where one and one half cup is? Yes. With the half that we already have? We started with the half, which means we have to add another cup. Right. And that would be right here. Yep, at the one and one half. You're so smart, Katie. Oh, that was a good job. Good job. Oops. <laughs> 